my name is Juno Diaz. I'm a professor at MIT and I'm a writer. I'm sort of a kind of a, uh, an obsessed writer when it comes to the Dominican Republic, both its history, its diasporas, and its communities. I feel that if I have any, uh, if I have any subject, if I have any project, it seems to be a project about the Dominican Republic and its diaspora filtered through the sensibilities of a New Jersey, Central Jersey, 80s particular experience. My primary character is this kind of weird, tough, dumbass. His name is Junior de las Casas, and it's about him and his family. Most of my books, it's about him and his family in some way and their journey. Um, they're Dominican immigrants. Um, they come from a working poor background. And, and in some ways, they're real, for me, they're real interesting lenses because Junior, my sort of kooky protagonist, He's a deep Jersey boy. He's been in New Jersey long enough to know New Jersey like the back of his hand, but he's also this kind of wild Dominican kid whose knowledge of New Jersey is only equal to by his knowledge of the Dominican Republic and its history. And he allows me sort of to toggle back and forth in really interesting ways. Junior is not some like divided, hyphenated stereotype of the immigrant. He's sort of what I've always thought of the reality of the new immigrant, where he lives in both places simultaneously. It's kind of like that Catholic idea of a, the powers of the saints by location, that saints could be seen and exist at two places at once. The dream of a writer and the dream of me is that this particular Dominican family opens a door not only to the American experience, but to the Dominican experience through its particular granular specificity. I mean, that's the power of literature. Literature gains its universality by being very specific. So you put a dude on a whaling ship, yeah, in the 1800s. I mean, how many folks were whalers out there? And yet that kind of tiny, tiny experience becomes a way for us to understand the not only America, but in some ways the human condition. Moby Dick, over 100 years old, we still feel deeply connected to it, but we feel connected to it because of particularity. A fellowship like this is transformational. It allows you to focus in your art, you know, with very little other concerns. It's sort of just like, it's kind of like a big blast of privilege. Mm -hmm.